estimate doesn't have to be 100 percent it can be 10 percent yeah 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 so planning poker is a game friends you play uh to estimate so everybody uh, gives an idea right. what happens in real life is that if the boss says it is 10 it is 10 and then he asks, what do you guys think is it 10 he says yeah yeah everybody says yeah right because everybody likes the job because they like the paycheck at the end of the month so how do we stop this behavior that's why planning poker is a game where <coughs> things happen anonymously so everybody gets a card and has anybody played planning poker okay so you decide whether it is one three five eight twenty fibonacci sequence or infinite or very complex or you don't know question mark whatever you think and you put your vote and then you open it and then you know uh, everybody looks at it and then the team asks question why do you think it is everybody thinks it is eight and why do you think it is 20 and then again voting happens because people clarify I think it is 20 because I think it's very difficult I think we need to get this architectural drawings from blah 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 and fix that and that will take a lot of time so I think it's not easy it is complex so and then there's a discussion and then finally things converge so the idea is to build a consensus <coughs> with all the members combined. So by playing that game, you can come to a consensus so that people mutually agree. And more than that, let me ask you this question. If everybody's agreeing, the chances of uh, implementation are easier or more difficult? Easier. Easier. No. What says something is thrown on you and you say, hey, you get this done? It's like your own child, right? If you tell him to do something, uh, what are the chances he will do it or you ask him if you do this you know maybe there's a chocolate I got for you you can have that and ask him how would he finish the job he will tell you the solution himself okay I'll go and play for half an hour and then uh, after that I'll come and sit here and study here and then you give me the chocolate am I right Prince otherwise you'll have a tough time with your own kid you know because nobody likes to be told on this earth, nobody likes to be told. So create a burn down chart like this. Um, how much is the remaining time and how many sprints? So burn up and burn down. What burn up is like cumulative. Burn down is work remaining and time remaining. So you can have burn down for a uh, um, sprint or you can have a burn down for the release. Burn up. burn up also you can have for the sprint and you can have for the release. So in the burn down the idea is what is the expected? We have 240 story points. In this case we have seems like how many? 85 points. And how much time we have? 2 weeks, 15 days. So then you track it, how it is happening. And then from one sprint you learn and then you extrapolate that for the release. So instead of happening from release to sprint, it actually in real life goes from sprint to release. And that's where the challenge is because uh, the management wants to know in the beginning how much will it cost, how much time will it take. So you learn from your sprint, you get a velocity and then you extrapolate that and you say okay, uh, I'm going to finish this uh, release in six sprints and it's going to be spread over three, four months. And you can plan at a higher level. Now, if you have 10 different teams and they all integrate together and build a product, how do you apply Scrum? That's a question a lot of people ask. The answer is Scrum of Scrums. Uh, there's another framework called SAFE. I think somebody was talking about SAFE. Yeah. So sc Scale Agile framework has an answer to that. SAFE or um, LESS is another one there. DAD is another one there. There are many of them. But you can scale across program, portfolio, enterprise level. Vertically or horizontally. 